Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to school. I'm Mr. Presley here with you on a terrific Tuesday at Frylands. Good morning, Falcons. It's great to see you as we get started on this terrific Tuesday of learning. Today is Tuesday, May 14th, 2024. On our lunch menu this morning, or this afternoon for lunch, we have uh, turkey hot dogs with crinkle cut fries, or you can have a turkey and cheese sandwich. Please remember to take a fruit and a vegetable with every school meal. Hey, as you get started on this terrific day, I want you to be thinking about what are ways we can think about helpful thoughts and help ourselves calm down. There's lots of ways to feel calm. I know we've talked about breathing techniques, kind of like slowly counting. One, two, three, slowly counting. Ooh, there's the bell. Better get going, huh? As we get ready for the day. Hey, slowly counting or slowly breathing. Um, sometimes what I do is I breathe in, and then when I breathe out, that's one. And I have my eyes closed. And if I do that about to about 20, sometimes 25, that really helps me calm down. That's what I use. So sometimes just counting slowly, breathing slowly, or for me, closing my eyes and doing both of those together helps me. Um, sometimes thinking helpful thoughts, like... We've been talking about ways to calm down. Whenever you experience strong emotions, maybe you get kind of excited about things or nervous or anxious about things, it's great to calm down. And so that slow breathing or slow counting can help. But once you start to feel uh, calm, there's also something else that you can do and that's thinking helpful thoughts. Think about positive things. Think about things that make you smile, like maybe your pet or maybe um, your favorite toy or favorite game you like to play or a place where you feel happy, you know, some yeah, happy event or happy memory. So thinking those helpful thoughts can help you. So the, remember the next time that you're kind of feeling a little bit anxious or excited about stuff or nervous about something, slow breathing, slow counting, and also thinking of positive thoughts, maybe positive memories and things like that can help you. So think about that as you start off on this terrific Tuesday. You know what we've got today, starting boys and girls, we have state testing for our third, fourth, and fifth graders. So you think about kids maybe feeling a little bit nervous or anxious, third, fourth, and fifth graders, you got this. We know you do. We know you're gonna do a great job. You've been working hard all year. So the rest of us, what we can do is we can help our third, fourth, and fifth grade Falcon friends by making sure we're super quiet in the hallways, Let's make sure that we're being super quiet because we want them to have a great testing environment over the next uh, three days that they'll be doing those different tests and things. So today they're doing uh, today they're doing the math cat is what it's called computer adaptive test. Third, fourth, and fifth graders today when you start your your state testing in math, what I want you to do is I want you to be thinking happy thoughts, be thinking positive. You've done a great job. You've learned a lot. This is your chance to shine and share what you know. So take your time. There is, there's not, it's not a race to get done with the state testing each day. In fact, I want you to use your scratch paper, write out your things, make sure that you have the correct answer you wanna put down before you put it down. Go back over your work, check your work, make sure it's your best because that's what we're talking about is doing your best. So today when you get started, take those deep breaths, take those slow, quiet countings, Take the things you need to help yourself to calm down. You're going to do a terrific job. We're very proud of you. You guys have done a lot of amazing things this year. You've grown a lot. This is your chance to show what you know and how much you've grown. So today we have our third, fourth, and fifth graders doing uh, part of their math. Tomorrow they'll do math as well. So take your time. Do your best. We believe in you. Believe in yourself. You're going to do a great job. All right? I'm very proud of you. So again, the rest of us, let's be quiet in the hallways. Let's give them a great testing environment for them. They'll be working super hard this morning um, to get started and some of them may work into the afternoon. So um, that's a lot of brain energy. So I hope you guys are getting enough sleep and eating well. We've got some snacks and things for you as well to help with that. The last thing I have are birthday announcements. I wasn't here yesterday. So happy birthday yesterday to Finn Hoke as well as happy birthday to Cash Weir. And then today, happy birthday to Jayla Resendez. So happy birthday, Jayla, Cash, and Finn. You can come on down and pick out the birthday bucket today. All right, boys and girls, let's have a great day of learning. It's gonna be beautiful outside. It's a great spring day. Um, we're gonna do work hard this morning and do our testing and stuff at third, fourth, and fifth grade. The rest of us from preschool, TK, kindergarten, first and second, we're gonna be quiet in the hallways and we're gonna work hard too, right? We're gonna work hard at our work and then enjoy the weather and be outside playing with our friends today. Have a great day of learning, boys and girls, and always remember, your Frylands family cares about you. 
teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. We'll see you soon. Good luck, third, fourth, and fifth graders. You'll do great. All right, see you soon. Bye.